the one change I'd like to see across British society is, is quite a small change really. Uh, it's the adoption of the uh, Total 20 campaign. Total 20 is a campaign of the 2020s group which wants to see 20 mile an hour uh, speed limits brought into all residential areas around schools and around the kind of shops and the places that we hang out. Not trunk roads, not the fast roads, but the roads which are around where we lead most of our lives. The reason why there's this desire to get the 30 mile an hour zones down to 20 miles an hour is because at 30 miles an hour, if a car hits you, it causes a lot more damage than it causes at 20 miles an hour. Um, at 30 miles an hour, most children about this high will be killed while being hit by a car. At 20 miles an hour, about 80% of the children who are hit survive. So it has a dramatic effect, particularly on uh, frail road users. Most of Europe, most of Western Europe already has, well, 18 and a half kilometers an hour, um, 30, so 18 and a half miles an hour, 30 kilometer an hour residential speed limits. The vast majority of the Netherlands residential roads are all going at this speed which means you've got a quality road, you've got a nice environment. People can let their children out to play, they don't have to imprison them in their homes anymore. Currently, roads are the biggest killer of children and young adults in Britain. Uh, for children, it's they're dying as pedestrians. Uh, for young adults, they're driving as, dying as drivers or as passengers in, in cars. Um, and it's not that the number of accidents are rising, the number of accidents are actually falling slightly, is that all the other threats to us, the infectious diseases, the kind of childhood cancers, those things have been cured or prevented at a much, much higher rate, so that as a relative risk, as a proportion of all deaths, roads are becoming more and more important. And because of this, because people care about their children and so on, they're imprisoning their children in their houses and not letting them out to go out to their friends because they're afraid of them being killed. And it's a very rational fear, because you, when you've got a ton of metal and steel moving along at 30 miles an hour, you basically have a whole series of killing machines circling your house all the time. Uh, the 20s plenty, the to and particularly the total 20 campaign is very simple. It's not about speed bumps, it's not about cameras, it's all about just sticking a 20 sticker over where there was a 30 sticker. And what happens? People's behaviour doesn't change immediately, but it, it begins to change. And of course, you have some people who will go straight to 20. And as long as you've got some cars going at 20, the cars behind them have to go at 20. And eventually, everybody learns to go at 20. We know that from where it's been introduced. There are 5 million people in this country who already live in residential streets, which are either 20 miles an hour or are promised 20 miles an hour. But that leaves you 55 million who don't have that. So the quality of their environment needs to be improved. The whole of Portsmouth has gone 20 miles an hour. Much of Oxford has gone 20 miles an hour. Recently, uh, the County Council of Lancashire <laughs> agreed to go 20 miles an hour for all residential streets by 2013. Now, that's a Conservative-controlled council. Um, there are Labour-controlled councils, Liberal-controlled councils, Conservative-controlled councils going for this. But it has to be agreed in the local areas, a devolved power. What happens, or well, the way you get 20 miles an hour in your local area, is a group of you have to come together. Uh, there are websites, you can look up 20's Plenty, but you have to campaign, you have to do petitions, you have to explain to councillors why this would make such an improvement. You have to tell them why there's not a problem um, with uh, speed and so on. It's quite interesting, you've got the ambulance going past right now. And of course you know what the ambulance is probably going to. You know what the most likely thing is why an ambulance is trying to speed through the streets of London. Last year there was a paper came out in the British Medical Journal and that paper showed that there had been a 43% drop in serious injuries and killing of people on those parts of London which had 20 miles an hour as opposed to the parts which had 30 miles an hour. Now if you came up with a drug or some other way of reducing mortality by a particular cause by just say 4.3% and it was a major cause, you would get the Nobel Peace Prize for medicine for your achievements. But here we have an intervention which reduces serious injury and mortality for everybody of all ages by 43% um, and also doesn't deflect it to the surrounding roads and it's the cheapest possible thing you can do. And it doesn't just reduce casualties, it makes the whole environment more pleasant. It makes it nicer to walk. It actually makes it nicer for drivers, quite a few drivers don't really want to be going that fast. 
it makes people much more willing to cycle, less afraid of cycling. Uh, it cleans up your street, it reduces emissions. Uh, it's actually more efficient to have cars going a bit slower rather than bunching up and zooming on to the next intersection or traffic light. There are all kinds of reasons why you want it. But, but one of the really interesting reasons, one of the things that's only struck me recently is one thing which is good about the Total 20 campaigns is that they show people that they can get together about something that really matters to them, the biggest threat, for instance, their children's lives. They can get together, they can argue, and they can win it. And they are winning it over Britain. It's being won everywhere where people are campaigning. Sometimes it's harder, sometimes it happens more quickly. And once people get together, voluntarily amongst themselves, and do something like that, they need to do it again and ask, well, what's the next biggest threat to our lives and the worst thing which is affecting us? What's the next thing which is reducing all our freedoms because a few people think they should have some special rights to behave badly? And once you get people just beginning to do that and realising that they can alter their environments and take away some of the very greatest threats to their lives and to the quality of life, then it can spread and it can get bigger. And then you can begin to get some of the really big issues and problems in society dealt with. And that's why I just want to start off with 20 miles an hour in residential streets.